Hello and guten Tag to War Thunder with Lutz Stahlhagel. Today I want to play the German low tiers a little bit more and I hope you have some fun with it. Is it looking at me? I don't know. Let's put some artillery on his head. Okay, he shot. Let's have some peekaboo shots. Uh, nothing. Okay. Maybe he's distracted. Okay, I'm using the terrain here as you can see. He's showing my turret. And yes, bullseye. Okay, we just killed his crew, I guess. Um, yeah, the BT-7 is kind of an easy prey. In this uh, low tier games, nearly every machine can kill the other machine, so it shouldn't be any big problem. Okay, there's another one. Yeah. I think he may have hit me here, but did no damage anyway. Okay. That was a nice clean kill. He had no real chance, he came up a hill. And the Russian gun depression is really terrible, so yeah, we had an easy kill. Okay, where's the rest of them? Let's see, hello my friend. Um no, no. Don't get too cocky. Just uh, cap first and then go hunting. See if I have a shot here on the enemy who's capping. Okay, yeah, both are there. Let's take out the T26 first. And what is this? Oh, it's a T35. Okay, I've never encountered one in game before. And I don't have much experience. But it seems like they are just as terrible armored as the T28. Which looks kind of the same, I would say. Um, nevertheless, I don't really sure if I penetrated really good with the standard rounds. I switched to high velocity armor piercing. And um, let's see. Okay, there he is. Okay, I think we have a shot there. Oh yeah. Oh, that's he's cooking. Can you see it? He's cooking, yeah. Okay. We got him. Let's recap. And make them come to us. Okay, he's capping. Then I don't have to. I can move on to B. Um, I think this map is kind of huge for some low tier gaming. But nevertheless, then you can play some tanks to its full potential. Um, this tank here, the um, Panzer IV Mark C or Ausführung C, um, has a very short barreled 75mm gun. This gun has not a very huge punch for a 75mm gun, but on this low tiers, it kind, it's kind of good. It does well. It has a um, very, very um, high firing arc and um, you have to really aim or have to really lead a lot to uh, make your shots count. And um, that's what you have to get used to if you are um, used to the Panzer II with the 20mm gun. And especially if you're used to the Russian 45mm guns, which are in my opinion one of the, or one of the best guns in the game compared to the battle ranking. Um, so yeah, you have to get used to um, driving these German low-tier tanks, especially the Panzer IVs. These tanks were never built to do the anti-tank role. They were never built to fight other tanks. Um, their tanks on the battlefield should be the support um, of the infantry. They should support the infantry with high explosive shells, firing the shells at fortified areas, clearing buildings, etc. etc. So the armor-piercing shells of these tanks were uh, only an emergency um, um, so yeah that's why these guns do not excel in the anti-tank role but don't get me wrong if this shells the 75 mm shells a relatively high caliber for those low tier machines can penetrate the target um, it will devastate it so 
that's the benefit of a high caliber in these low tier matches. Okay, but back to the game. I think we spotted a T26 and a T60 to the southeast. Should be around about there. I'm not fully sure if I'm right. I think I have to move on a little bit. Okay, there's the first one. Yeah, it's a T26. Okay, I guess he's around about 800 meters away from me. Yeah, it should be exactly 800 meters. Okay, knocked out a driver. Oh, this goes way low. Okay, slightly too high. Okay, that's a problem of these short barrel guns. They're very unaccurate. And uh, even if you don't adjust your aim, they won't hit very often. Okay, that won't hit. I think with our fifth shot we uh, had hit the T26. Okay, T60. That should be a tougher nut to crack. But um, he can do uh, any harm with uh, his machine gun. He only has a machine gun. And uh, should be no threat to our tank. Okay. Our friend in the Panzer II knocked him out. Okay, let's move on. Um, okay, there's our next customer. I think I will move here and stop here. Is he behind the hill there? Yeah, he's behind the hill there. And um, that's great for us. This, um, this gun, as I mentioned before, has a very high firing arc. So we can fight, fight or shoot over this uh, hill without having direct visible contact to the enemy, um, given this opportunity to uh, make it an indirect fight. And I think it's around, yeah, he's around about 600 meters away, but the shell did kind of bounce. So yeah, that's a problem of these uh, short barreled guns. They don't have a very good, a very high muzzle velocity. So they lose energy very soon on far distances and uh, don't expect any good uh, performance of these short barrel guns on far distances. Okay, I, I don't think we are really lucky here. So, uh, Oh, look at the map. There's another one coming in and he could have a shot of us. Okay, let's aim. I think around about 600 or a little bit more. Yeah, around about 700 meters. Just a little bit. Oh, no, way too low. Around about 700. Uh, okay, bullseye. Um, that's what I meant. If um, these high caliber shells um, penetrate the target, they will devastate the interior of the small fighting compartments and do a lot of damage. Okay, let's move over to the T26 um, at which we fired before. I think he received some damage and should be an easy kill. There he is. Okay, he should be around 400 meters away. That was too low. Okay, lead and... Yeah, now we got it. I don't think these machine guns on the AI planes can harm me. Okay, that's T60 over there. And let's see if uh, I can have a shot there. Let's use the good German gun depression and fight from the slope. Okay, I think it was slightly too low. Okay, now I can see him and. Oh, got taken up by a panzer two before we had a chance to. Oh! T26 to my left. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. Get the gun down, get the gun down. And yes! Okay. That was close. Maybe he adjusted his aim already. 
Maybe we are free to cap now. Looks like nobody's here. Everybody went out. Uh, yeah, I will go for the cap now. I think it should be safe. Yeah, only one left. And we did not encounter the last one on the uh, western side of the map. So I guess he will be on the eastern part of the map, on this hill there. Right over there. Uh, yeah, only one left. Okay, I do expect him from... Up there, or more to the right. But we are not alone. And again, the AI plane. Hello, Choji or Adam, or whatever you are called. Okay, let's let's try to shoot them down. If the last one is not appearing. Okay, that's was close, I guess. It was close again, but you never know. Okay, the other one is coming in as well. Maybe I get this one. And no, that was too high. Missed my shot there. Where did he go? Okay, there he is. Okay. No. <laughs> Got him. Yeah. 